SpaceX released new S36 wreckage photos, and something incredible happened. The explosion that destroyed Starship 36 actually revealed its hidden strength. Look at this. The nose cone survived blast forces stronger than re-entry. The Starlink terminal? Still working. Catching points? Barely damaged with just one surface crack. But here's what nobody expected. This destruction taught SpaceX exactly how to build an unstoppable Starship. What killed S-36 is now making the next ships virtually indestructible. So how does a catastrophic failure become the breakthrough that changes everything? Let's dive right in. The wreckage that defied physics. The photos hit SpaceX headquarters like a thunderbolt. Starship 36 was supposed to be obliterated, completely gone. The composite overwrap pressure vessel explosion in the payload bay unleashed forces that could level buildings. Engineers braced themselves for total devastation, but what they saw changed everything. A massive chunk of the nose cone sat there in the wreckage field, twisted and scarred from the blast. Yet somehow, impossibly, critical systems were still intact. The Starlink terminal that should have been vaporized barely touched. The catching points everyone worried about, standing strong with just a hairline crack. This wasn't just survival, this was revelation. The first image tells a story that's rewriting the rules of spacecraft design. The exterior shows the violence of the explosion, metal torn like paper, scorch marks from temperatures that melt steel. But underneath that destruction, components that proved they could handle forces more brutal than anything they'd face on Mars. Stop and think about what this means. This explosion wasn't controlled. It wasn't planned. It was pure chaos. The kind of catastrophic failure that engineers have nightmares about. Yet the most critical parts of Starship emerge from this hell, proving they're tougher than anyone dare dream. The heat shield discovery that changes Mars. Now here's where this story takes a fascinating turn. The heat shield tiles are telling two completely different stories. And understanding this difference could mean the difference between life and death for future Mars astronauts. On the windward side, the part that took the blast head on, tiles were ripped away like leaves in a hurricane. These tiles are glued, not bolted, making them vulnerable to the kind of shockwaves that turn metal into modern art. The violence was so intense that entire sections of protection simply vanished. But here's the breakthrough. The leeward side tells a completely different story. Protected from the direct blast, these tiles stayed put, creating a perfect before and after comparison that's worth millions in research data. This isn't just damage assessment anymore. This is a masterclass in exactly how Starship's protection system behaves under the most extreme conditions imaginable. The Starlink terminal area proves this point in the most dramatic way possible. Despite sitting right in the destruction zone, it emerged almost untouched. Why? Because SpaceX reinforced this section to protect vital communication hardware. That reinforcement just passed the ultimate stress test. But what does this mean for the astronauts heading to Mars? It means the protection systems designed to keep them alive during the most dangerous parts of their journey have been tested beyond anything they'll actually face. The explosion that destroyed S-36 just proved that Starship's crew compartment protection is stronger than the forces trying to destroy it. The catching point miracle that stunned engineers. This next part should make every space fan's heart race. The catching points, those precision engineered connection spots, that have to be strong enough to catch a falling skyscraper, just prove they're virtually indestructible. Engineers have been losing sleep over these components. They have to be precise enough for millimeter-perfect docking, yet strong enough to handle massive forces. It's like building a watch that can stop a speeding truck. The math says it should work, but physics has a way of humbling even the best calculations. Well, physics just gave its verdict. Aside from one surface-level crack, and we're talking cosmetic damage, not structural failure, the catching points emerge from this apocalypse, ready for another round. The base tiles that secure these critical components, still firmly attached. The mounting hardware, solid as a rock. What this means is revolutionary. The mechanism designed to catch returning starships from orbit just survive forces that exceed operational requirements by orders of magnitude. This isn't just good news. This is game-changing confirmation that Starship's most critical systems are overbuilt in the best possible way. The payload bay revelation that maps the future. 
The second image reveals something equally important, but from the opposite perspective. Near the payload bay, destruction was absolute, complete, total. Tiles gone, ablative protection peeled away like old paint, bare structure exposed to the elements. Most people would look at this devastation and see failure. SpaceX engineers, they see a treasure map. Every piece of destroyed material is telling them exactly where to focus their improvements. Every weakness exposed is a problem that can be solved before it puts human lives at risk. Every failure point identified becomes a target for the next design iteration. The contrast between the nose cone's resilience and the payload bay's vulnerability creates something priceless, a perfect stress test map that shows exactly where Starship exceeds requirements and where it needs reinforcement. This kind of real-world data cannot be bought, cannot be simulated, and cannot be replicated in any laboratory on Earth. SpaceX now knows precisely where to add protection, where to change materials, where to modify designs. The explosion that should have been a disaster just became the most valuable engineering lesson in spaceflight history. When disaster becomes strategic advantage, but the destruction didn't stop at the spacecraft, the ship quick disconnect system, that massive piece of ground infrastructure positioned right next to the test stand, absorbed the full fury of the blast. Steel frames designed to handle the stress of rocket operations were twisted into unrecognizable shapes. Walking through the aftermath virtually, you can see the story written in warped metal and collapsed structures. Components that took months to build and install now lean against what remains of the framework like twisted sculptures. This isn't just expensive equipment destroyed, it's the entire testing capability of the Massey site wiped out in seconds. But here's where SpaceX's true genius reveals itself. While everyone else sees setback, SpaceX sees opportunity. While Massey undergoes reconstruction, Launch Pad B has been quietly approaching operational readiness. Final manifold systems are being installed. Support structures are being completed. The timing is almost too perfect to be coincidental. Launch Pad B features the same critical infrastructure as Massey Flame Trench, designed to handle rocket exhaust. Quick disconnect systems built for rapid operations, all the essential components needed for ship testing. The only question mark? Compatibility with the orbital launch mount for full stack operations. But even without that capability initially, Pad B represents something more valuable than just backup infrastructure. It represents the beginning of distributed operations that could revolutionize how SpaceX approaches rocket development and deployment. The strategic masterstroke hidden in the wreckage. This is where the story gets really interesting. SpaceX didn't just lose a test site in this explosion. They gained something that could accelerate their entire program. The justification and necessity for multiple active facilities. Instead of concentrating all operations at one location, they're now building redundancy into their system. Multiple active pads mean higher launch frequency. Distributed operations mean one failure doesn't shut down the entire program. The ability to maintain one facility while operating another means continuous progress without interruption. The explosion that seemed like a catastrophe might actually be the catalyst that transforms SpaceX from a single point of failure operation into a multi-site powerhouse. When Pad B comes online, and current construction suggests that's happening faster than anyone expected, SpaceX will have operational capabilities they didn't have before S-36 exploded. Will they shift testing operations to Pad B immediately? Based on the pace of construction and the urgency of their timeline, that's not just possible, it's probable. Even if the new site starts with limited capabilities, it's still operational capacity that didn't exist before the explosion forced their hand. Beyond the metal, what this really means for humanity. Every twisted beam, every scorched tile, Every data point extracted from this destruction is feeding directly into the next generation of Starship design. But the implications go far beyond engineering improvements. The durability demonstrated by critical systems isn't just impressive, it's humanity's ticket to becoming a multi-planetary species. When spacecraft components can survive forces more extreme than their operational environment, you're not just building reliable transportation, you're building confidence in our ability to reach other worlds and come back alive. The ablative layer failures, 
They're showing engineers exactly how to protect future crews during the most dangerous phases of interplanetary travel. The heat shield vulnerabilities? They're revealing weaknesses that could be deadly in Mars's atmosphere. The structural stress points? They're mapping exactly where to reinforce before human lives depend on those systems. This explosion just provided stress testing that no Earthbound facility could replicate. The forces involved, the conditions created, the simultaneous failure modes. It's a perfect storm of destruction that revealed exactly how Starship behaves when everything goes wrong at once. The data that's worth more than gold. This wasn't planned destruction, but it provided insights more valuable than years of controlled testing. The explosion created a perfect laboratory for studying multiple failure scenarios simultaneously, something impossible to achieve through normal testing protocols. Material behavior under extreme stress, documented in excruciating detail. Subsystem durability beyond design specifications, proven under the most challenging conditions possible. Structural integrity during catastrophic events, mapped with precision that would cost millions to achieve through traditional testing. But what makes this data truly revolutionary is how it's already informing design changes. Every weakness exposed becomes a strength in the next iteration. Every failure point identified becomes a reinforcement target. Every survival story becomes validation of design choices that seemed overly conservative. The robustness of critical systems gives engineers confidence to optimize other aspects of the vehicle. When you know your catching mechanisms can handle more stress than expected, you can fine-tune other systems accordingly. When your communication systems prove indestructible, you can apply those protection strategies to other vital components. The Phoenix Rising from the Ashes The explosion that should have ended Starship 36's contribution to spaceflight instead transformed it into the most valuable test vehicle in SpaceX history. The wreckage that should have represented failure became the foundation for unprecedented confidence in Starship's design. Every piece of debris tells a story of resilience that's reshaping how engineers think about spacecraft durability. The nose cone that survived forces exceeding re-entry conditions. The catching points that emerge from chaos ready for operational use. The communication systems that prove virtually indestructible under the most extreme stress imaginable. This isn't just about one test vehicle anymore. This is about proving that Starship's critical systems are overbuilt, over-engineered, and ready for the challenges of interplanetary travel. The explosion that was supposed to be a setback just became the most convincing argument yet that Starship is ready to carry human civilization to the stars. The data flowing from this destruction is already changing the next generation of Starships. Stronger heat shields where weakness was revealed. Enhanced protection where vulnerabilities were exposed. Proven systems where survival was demonstrated. What destroyed S-36 is making every future Starship more robust, more reliable, more capable of the impossible missions ahead. This explosion didn't just test Starship, it forged it. In the fire and fury of catastrophic failure, the true strength of SpaceX's design philosophy was revealed. Not just to survive, but to learn. Not just to endure, but to improve. Not just to continue, but to excel. The wreckage of Starship 36 isn't the end of a story. It's the beginning of an era where spacecraft don't just reach for the stars. They're built to get there and back, no matter what the universe throws at them. So here we are. Starship 36's explosion just proved that sometimes the best lessons come from the worst disasters. Those twisted pieces of metal, those scorched tiles, that destroyed infrastructure, they're not endings. They're blueprints for an unstoppable future. The catching points that survived hell, the Starlink terminal that laughed at destruction, the heat shields that mapped their own weaknesses, Every single piece of wreckage is now teaching SpaceX how to build the ships that will carry us to Mars and beyond. But here's what really gets me excited. This isn't just about better rockets. This is about proving that when humanity faces the impossible, we don't just survive, we learn, we adapt, we get stronger. S-36 didn't just explode, it transformed into the foundation of interplanetary civilization. The question that's keeping me up at night 
If a catastrophic explosion can make Starship stronger, what's going to happen when everything goes right? When that first crew lands on Mars, they'll owe their lives to the lessons written in S-36's wreckage. What do you think Mars feels like knowing we're coming? And now we're unstoppable.